Yeah, it is a very generous donation. It's coming a little bit later than first promised, but these new police cruisers and ambulances, they have arrived. And while the city's not going to be getting the keys to all of the new vehicles today, this is a pretty good start, especially when you consider some of these ambulances break down on an almost daily basis. When they first announced this a few months ago, did you think it would actually happen? No, and no, not in Detroit. I mean, they always announce something and they never come to pass. But this is turning out to be a promise kept. It was the end of March when local businesses and Mayor Jay Bing went public with the plan to get more ambulances and police cruisers on the streets of Detroit. Private companies donated more than $8 million to make it happen. 10 of the 23 new ambulances will roll out today. Problems have plagued the city's aging fleet and residents have suffered because of it. We were calling, they would say, well, we don't have any available. And sometimes people have had to put people in their car and take them to the hospital. Action News has been on top of the story from the beginning, providing you with exclusive details along the way, including access to the new vehicles. The ambulances built by Horton and top of the line, 100 police cruisers from the Motor City's Big Three, Ford, Chrysler, and GM. I live in a senior building and... You know, we have a lot of emergencies, and so we need quick response. That's a good thing for Detroit. It's a big gift. Yeah, it is. It's a big gift. And this isn't just a gift for the residents of Detroit. It's for anyone that comes into the city. If you work, you go to a ball game. This is important for all of us. What's going to happen this afternoon? Mayor Dave Bing, along with Roger Penske and some of those other business leaders, will be meeting at 1 o'clock. They will have a short procession of these new vehicles from Campus Marshes down over here to Dodge Park. At that time, they will have the pre presentation, hand over the keys, and then pretty soon we're going to start to see these new cruisers and these new police or ambulances on the roadway. We still have a lot more cruisers that need to be outfitted, but this is a good place to start. For now, we are live in downtown Detroit. Vic and Glenda, back to you. They do look good and they are needed, Ronnie. Thank you so much.